The Space Shuttle Endeavour exhibit at the California Science Center showcases the orbiter's legendary missions and the crews who flew them. I'm Sarah Hadiko. Let's go spec the trek. Here's the actual Mission Control Center used by Rocketdyne from 1981 to 2011 to monitor the boosters on space shuttles as they got into orbit. From California, engineers communicated with Houston and Kennedy Space Centers. This is the party hat, I mean nose cone, of the shuttle's main external fuel tank. That metal spike on top is a lightning rod. Space shuttle wheels can support three times the load of commercial airliner tires. They're filled with nitrogen, which resists fire and doesn't leak as quickly. Ah, the waste collection system. This shuttle potty uses suction to help astronauts part ways with their undesirables. There's a funnel for number one and a hole for number two. And now, the Space Shuttle Endeavour. It's as wide as six Volkswagen Beetles end-to-end -end, and as long as three full-size school buses. It completed 25 missions in space, starting in 1992 to capture and repair a communications satellite. This is Space Hab, a laboratory installed in the shuttle's payload bay that gave the crew extra room to conduct experiments. It was originally designed for space tourists, but that program never took off. Check out these engines. The space shuttle's main engines worked with rockets to push it through the atmosphere. They were only needed for eight minutes per mission to get the shuttle into orbit. After that, they just looked pretty. Here's another one. Endeavour used 35 engines during its full run. Over the years, Endeavour flew more than 122 million miles and spent almost 300 days in space. After it was decommissioned in the summer of 2011, Endeavour was flown from Florida to California and driven through the streets to get here. Well, this was fun. NASA, you to join us to explore some space history.